Hello Matt, it is Sunday the 12th of February. I know my family doesn't watch these vlogs but I just want to still wish good luck to my brother Chris in this um, vlog because he is starting his um, course in nursing at Southampton University tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, good luck Chris, I hope you do well and it'll be um, a shame not living with you for the next, um, well, probably ever again. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's funny, like you start university in February and I'm going to be starting university in September. <laughs> so yeah, good luck. Right, so Matt, your punishment you wanted to know, um, so yeah, I've thought of a little bit of an idea, it could be changed but um, right now it stands as this. You need to watch Fifty Shades Darker and then review it. But every time you say a bad point about the movie, you need to have one being boozled. Don't know which one, you just need to have one every time you say something bad about the movie. So your punishment is, watch Fifty Shades Darker, review it every time you say something bad about it, have a being boozled. Now, if this was a movie like, um, actually good, um, then you wouldn't have to worry about the being boozled part because there's going to be nothing bad to say about them, but Fifty Shades Darker, hmm, yeah, pretty bad. This does harken back to that punishment I was given in the first year when I had to read Fifty Shades of Grey, but I couldn't because I uh, couldn't buy the book because I was under 18. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's sort of punishing enough in just seeing it, but then the bean boozled part on top of it. Yeah, a bit unlucky you had two punishments in the last, um, well, two punishments in a month. The most, the most I think we've ever had um, in, of one person. By the way, though, today I could have had a punishment because there's been a last minute meet up at uh, town um, late this evening. Um, so I had to do this vlog quite qu quickly. Um, in order to, you know, not be punished myself, <laughs> because I don't really want to be punished. And in answer to your other question, what do I prefer, winter or summer? Summer all year long. I was about to say all day long, but all year long. Um, now, yeah, summer is just way hotter. You've got a lot more time off, and it's not as depressing. Then again, no, December, I would say, is probably my favourite month of the year. Uh, but January and February, no. Uh, the August is probably my second favourite month, then July, then September because it's my birthday, and then June's my fifth favourite month. Um, so yeah, that that's why I like summer more than winter. And yeah, winter's also terrible when, um, because the only thing's really that good about January, maybe in February is the fact that it could snow heavy. And I must point out that in one of your questions you asked and I answered, I was incredibly wrong at saying that it wouldn't snow until 2019. No, um, it did snow quite heavy, but none of it settled. That is my gripe. When it snows in January or February, that's what I like about those months. When it doesn't settle, no. Like, yeah, I was working yesterday and you said it out loud in your last vlog that it was snowing quite heavy. But it was just so wet on the ground that it just melted as soon as it hit. So, yeah. I think also that means that this year won't be full snow. That's what I meant. Well, I didn't really mean... Uh, um, I mean, it can always just snow randomly. But um, and what I mean is full-on snowfall 2013-like. Um, or even it just stays around for like a day and then just melts. I, like... This one didn't even, none of them even hit the ground. Like, it just was like that. They all melted straight away. Finally, Matt, um, as we are coming out of January and into the big award season and the start of 2017 for real in movies, I wanted to give a little rundown of some movies that I am anticipating for this coming year. I may have already done this in a vlog, but because I can't think of anything else to do, I might as well do this. And also, Matt, I apologise for so many of my previous questions being related to movies, but that's all I really know about um, in the outside world. So, yeah, what movies are you anticipating this year? Um, I'm pretty sure you'll be... Um, anticipating the Justice League um, because you know I, I seen to recall you said he liked Suicide Squad. I'm not going to say he 
you're wrong with saying that. I just don't like it myself. Um, but I'm not really that hyped about Justice League or Wonder Woman because I DC ripped me off twice last year, so I'm not going to do Actually, no. Batman and Superman, I thought it was going to be enjoyably fun, um, but bad. It was just bad. Uh, Suicide Squad, I was sort of dragged to. I knew it was going to be bad, but I just saw it anyway, and yeah, it was bad. Anyway, though, what movies are you anticipating for this year? Me? Well, obviously, um, The Last Jedi. Yeah, that's, um, hmm. Um, just a little bit, um, anticipating for that. But I'm not just a Star Wars fan. I'm anticipating a few other movies. Kingsman, The Golden Circle is one of them. Coming out later on this year, I love the first one. It's one of those movies that just got better and better the more I thought about it. And the sequel, I'm predicting it's not going to be quite as good as the first, but I think it's still going to be enjoyably corny fun action with some great British humour. Right, another movie that I only really got hyped for after I saw the Christopher Nolan and Batman trilogy is Dunkirk. Now, uh, I must be honest here and say Christopher Nolan is one of my lesser knowledge points about movies, but since I saw the um, Dark Knight trilogy, for real, I really hyped about anything his future work brings and Dunkirk is coming out in what could pot 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 potentially be one of the highest grossing um, few days in cinema history because you've got Cars 3 which is Pixar you have I think Guardians of the Galaxy 2 comes out as well I don't know, nah that comes out a bit earlier there's another movie that comes out the same day as Cars 3 I'll put in the bottom here what movie it is, um, but um, yeah, but anyhow, Dunkirk coming out after, which is, you know, Christopher Nolan, big film, World War Two, yeah. On that note, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is another movie I'm hyped for. It's another movie that I um, saw when it first came out, and I, yeah, enjoyed it. It was pretty good, and then um, I got on DVD quite recently, saw it again quite recently, and... And like Kingsman, it just got better and better the more I thought about it. So, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, definitely um, one I'm hyped for. I personally think it could be better than the first. And Matt, you know those times in the vlogs that you just forget everything you're talking about? So I forget what movies I'm anticipating for this year. Um, yeah, I've just forgot what movies I'm anticipating. Um, oh yeah, Fast and the Furious, no, I'm not in anticipating that that much, I'm not anticipating Fast and the Furious 8 that much, but I'm pretty sure you are anticipating it, um, and I'm sure a few other people are, because, um, yeah, but I mean, how the hell they made eight movies of that franchise? And it was, seventh one was, I hate to say enjoyably fun so much, but it was bad fun, um, but still watchable, but yeah, Fast and the Furious 8, I'm sure you're anticipating. Cars 3 a lot of people are anticipating because they think it could be better than the second one and the first one because of the trailer but then Super Carl and Brothers pointed out that maybe the crash isn't the climax of the story and is in fact just a linchpin for something that happens there wrong which just sounds boring so I'm not hyped about Cars 3 um, and um, Spider-Man Homecoming is another one which um, I could see, I don't know. And Thor Ragnarok as well, that's coming out. Um, and I'll see how I feel closer to the time. Doctor Strange um, is in it, but um, I mean, I'm not familiar with Thor that much, so I don't know about that. And any other movies that are coming out this year? <sighs> I'm only thinking about sequels, aren't I? I'm pretty... Uh, stereotypical consumer <laughs> um, yeah but I'm sure I'll see a lot more movies this year uh, yeah I'm hyped for this year Matt I'll see you Wednesday